What up, though? It's Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video is about to be one of your favorite. Today is the day where I take delivery of a new vehicle. Some of y'all gonna hate this. Some of y'all gonna love it, but it's always an experience with me. Always shopping around, always buying new cars. So if you've seen the previous video, I was shopping around for a Z28 and that fell through. Kind of bummed out about that. But the same day, I put a deposit down on another car, and you can see from the title already. But we're about to go pick up a Miata, the 2024 ND Miata, the ND3 Miata. Brand new, they refreshed it. So these just started rolling around to the lots, and I was lucky enough to scoop up one because I went to go see one the same day it arrived at the dealership. I just happened to look at the dealership like, oh, they got some Miatas on the lot. And they were already snatched up the day they came there. Four hours out, no, three hours after the dealership opened. So I was like, all right, let me just put a deposit down. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Went out there and saw it. I drove some before, but not the new. I ain't even drive this one. So we're going to experience that together. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So right now I'm at the bank. Got to get my check to take to the dealership later on this evening. Let me call the dealership and make sure I got everything in order. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for Patrick Murdoch. All right, so he ain't answered. So let me go in the bank and do what I got to do here. Normally when I buy a new car, I got to bring the check, got to have the car insured. Um, if you're doing the trade-in, you got to have everything set for that vehicle, the title, both sets of keys if you got them. So I should be all good to go. Mm. So... Before we get in there, let me show y'all. Let me do a shoe check-in because I haven't done one of those in eons. I got a new pair of shoes. And for the delivery of this vehicle, I figured I'd wear a new pair of shoes. One of my grills that I've been looking at for eons, and they finally became available to the public. Open the door so y'all can see them in their full essence. I got on the LeBron Forest. These are foam posits. And yeah, the Fruity Pebble edition. Look a little close. Got fruity pebbles on there. The bottom is multicolored. Some people say this shoe matches the car that I'm buying, but I'm here to say, forget y'all. And Chip, I tried to get a muscle car, but the universe didn't want me to be great. So, Miata it is. I told you it was always the answer, and you're gonna enjoy it. Just watch. Got everything I need in this little green folder, so I'm all ready to go pick the car up. Only thing I did not submit is a registration on one of my vehicles. So, I need to do that. But other than that, got the check and we're ready to go. So, let's get there. Made it to Sessie Mazda Lincoln Volvo here in Ann Arbor. And I was supposed to be getting a car for the wife, but she was still a little bit undecided and I'm still testing out vehicles for her. So, I was supposed to be getting a CX-50, CX-90, CX-5, but or a CX-30, but that was a little bit too small. Did a review on that. It's actually coming up soon. But, I made the mistake and I went on the website. And I saw how many Miatas they had, the 24th. I was told they wouldn't be here until July. But I looked at a couple dealerships. We had a few on the lot. So I looked at them, and I made the mistake of making that inquiry. So they got a few here, and I think all of them are spoken for now. So let's see what they got here. A couple CX-5s over here. Got a CX-90 over here. And this is what I truly wanted my wife to get. And that's what I was looking at. I test drove one. I got a press vehicle. We really liked it. But these prices from these dealerships, they were kind of inconsistent. So I saw a loaner, or not a loaner, a, uh, a demo model that they were only giving me $750 off on one of these. So I should, I was planning on getting one of these, but I, I made that mistake of looking at Miatas. So for a demo vehicle with 7,000 miles, they were only going to give a $750 discount. And that, my friends, is trash. So I was like, no, that's not good enough. So then I was like, all right, what we got else? Because these CX-90s are looking pretty expensive. But each dealership, I saw them for like seven to $800 for the hybrid, the premium pluses. And I also saw them, uh, one dealership, online they had them marked at like $500. But then when you come to the store, it was like at least $650. So that was kind of a, a sticker shocker, but stuff happens. But let's see these Miatas they got here. We got the RF over here, and I really like the RF. But I talked to a few people, mainly the Topher, shout out to him. And he was like, man, if you get a Miata, you got to get the convertible. And this one is an automatic. But also, we got CX-50s. I think I'm going to point towards one of these for my wife. I like the CX-50s. Looks a little bit more masculine than CX-5. 
a little bit more expensive by like ten dollars a month for a lease and the cx30s are quite fine but they're a little bit too smallish in the rear seat and then they got a the convertible miata over here and zircon sand actually who am i kidding this is my car right here but let me go inside handle the paperwork so this is my great salesman pat i was in and out in less than 10 minutes so we're here at Sassy Mazda, so Pat, go ahead, give the channel your information if they want to buy a Mazda from you. Yeah, give me a call, 734-668-6100, Sassy Mazda. All right, thank you. And I promise you it was only 10 minutes. Pat's been a great, a great help, got me everything prepared beforehand, so when I came in here, all I had to do was sign the paperwork, hand over a check, and that was it. So thanks a lot, Pat. Yeah, no problem. Allow me to show you around my 2024 Mazda MX-5 Miata. So this is what everybody's gonna call the ND3. So it did have an update, they changed the headlights. And I do have the Zircon Sand color, which I believe was new for 2023. And this is a Grand Touring trim. I got the Grand Touring because it's the only one that comes with an automatic. So looking at this, we got the new wheels. Sorry, I can't help myself. Y'all know I did not get an automatic. You know what we drive around here. Only manual, six-speed manual. We do have that new screen. Y'all will see it more in another video. So, also, we got the black top on here. Got the convertible, no RF. Would have liked that, but I want the open top experience. Never had a convertible before, or a target top for that matter, but here we are. The wheels, two-tone. So we have black along with machine finished on here. I think these look great. The Grand Touring now comes standard with the Bilstein shocks and also we got the limited slip differential so that's a major part of the Miata. Two options on here, I got this spoiler which is body colored, the club trim has a black spoiler and then I also got all weather mats, rubberized MX-5 on there. So it's not a whole lot with this car, this is basically all I got. Other options are kind of sand on here. I'm thinking about modifications, what I can do initially. I'm already thinking about exhaust, so if you're a Miata enthusiast, let me know what you think. I was recommended Corksport from a couple people already, so I don't know, you guys tell me. I see we got a shark fan, and why is this here? Oh, we got both of these. That's weird, but let me pop the trunk. The button is down here somewhere. The trunk is big enough for my camera bag, and not much else a folder and stock floor mats another thing I'm gonna love got bows in the headrest so if you guys seen that video when I was in Florida and I rented a Miata on Turo it was terrible so this is gonna be the redemption for that so we back at it with another Miata doesn't have ball tires it's not raggedy it's brand new nine miles on it but this time it's gonna be mine so let me know what you think about my 2024 MX-5 Miata Sorry folks, it's not a Z28. I really wanted that car very bad, but the moment that deal dropped, like I was uh started looking for my wife a car, made that mistake of looking at Miata's while I was on Mazda's page, boom, put a deposit down, and here we are today. My kids are gonna be excited and yet pissed because only one kid can ride in here. And uh yeah, one at a time. So this is gonna be my alone car. And one of the main reasons that I'm getting the Miata. I want to focus on my skills. So this is going to bring me back almost to where I was at when I had my M2 rear wheel drive. I really love rear wheel drive. I think it takes the most skill to drive. You can have a lot of fun sliding around. The Miata is going to be the car that I do that with. It's easy to learn on. The power isn't too crazy to where I can't just go nuts on it. And I, it can help me learn to be a better driver. So I'm trying to get my skills up there. Shout out to the MOC. So race car friends, he's great at driving as much as I hate to admit that. He's great at driving. He's a great driver. And also the Topher. I want to get driving, get good driving like he is. So plan on going to some events to where I can at least use him as like a ghost to where I can just trail him and try and keep up. Because he got the S2000. So we kind of got matching cars now. I got the Type R, he's got the Type S, he's got the S2000, and I got the Miata now. Oh, and he's got the BRZ as well. So, man, we got the whole Japanese small fun car on lock. 
So we are going to get this on the drive in the next video. But let's take a look and see about the rest of the car. They do have new interiors with the 2024. They have like a tan or brown interior. I wanted that, but it's not available with this color. And as soon as I saw this color, because people were buying them up, as soon as they landed to the dealership, I had to make a move. I'm okay with this color. Didn't want so red. RF, I, I like the RFs a lot because it comes like fully loaded. But this one was more budget friendly and I like it. So we rocking with this. Yeah, let me know about those mods. I already know the, the handling from what I, well, I've driven these before too. Like it's kind of got some roll to it. So I'm going to need to correct that at some point soon. So I know I'm thinking of struts and uh, also thinking about lowering springs, but I'm going to drive with it stock for a minute to see what I like, what I don't like about it. And then we have this Sky Active G engine, got 181 horsepower. The powertrain is unchanged. Yeah, very simple, easy to work on, cheap to maintain, consumables, very low. This is what we rock with, folks. So I told you all I'm becoming like a more slow car fast type of guy and the Miata is like the definition and it's not that slow anymore so it's kind of like slowish car fast or regular car fast. I'm not getting dusted by no minivans I'll tell you that but that's all I'm going to leave you all with today. Drop a comment if you're new to the channel welcome aboard. With that being said I'm Q checking out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.